Hello all, uh, in this video we will verify how to use Java transformation but even in Java transformation uh, we will be uh, instead of uh, specifying the code at uh, Java transformation level just as we have specified like this what we will do is we will create a Java class file and instead of specifying the code over here we will just call particular Java method to add these two values and we will import that particular package from this tab so let's start with uh, creating the new java package so we will create that from the eclipse tool that we will create package as um, input value inside this input value we will create a class as add to list in this class which we will have to input as in val1 in val2 Static, we will have to call the class name So our class got created. Uh, we don't require really this main method. We are uh, specifically interested in get value method, which we will call from Java transformation. Uh, so our next task is to create a jar file of this. So we'll export that and jar file. Our project is add two values. Select that one. Mm. We specify our jar file name as. So our jar file got created with name as add to value. We will copy this jar file 
to informatical location now this particular jar file will specify java transformation so we will create a java transformation or we will create a new mapping first m import jar our source over here is two values target over here is target java transformation the jar file which we have copied we will specify specified its path add to values dot jar connect the ports we we'll create a new port which is which will give the output of two input values and output will be of integer type the package which we have created import package name is input value and get value is the method so we'll import this package dot star compile Java code compiled successfully, so it has imported our class, which is add to values, which resides in this particular package, and we will call this method now. So on input row, we will call this particular method. method will return will save that in a sum by one equal to one one so method error because the ports are in decimal will change the data type
Yeah. So now the Java code is compiled successfully. The thing is, as we have specified get while well method as static, we have to it's a class attribute, and that's the reason we have to qualify that with the class name. So over here, what we did is we passed val one and val two, which are our source inputs, to get while well method, and this get while well method ultimately will return the addition of these two values. and that particular additional uh, return value will assign that to some some port which is output port now we will connect three so now mapping is valid we will just create a corresponding workflow workflow create the create a task import jar one additional thing we have to do is we have to specify the jar path to say at session level so what we have to do is okay. Workflow is valid. We'll just run this workflow again. So you see, it read the two seven rows from source, and it has added the same rows at target level. We'll just validate whether uh, yes. You see that. There is a some appeared over here, which is addition of these first two values. So the main advantage of importing a jar into Java expression is that we can reuse this particular code. So we don't have to write any specific code at uh, Java code tag. We will just import the pre-written code by someone else, and we will just call the values or call the method. Thanks for watching this video.